Book 34 of 2019 was The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. Um, this was another one from my book club. Um, I actually voted for this one as well a couple of times because for some strange reason I had it in my head that in order to discuss the opposite of loneliness you would have to discuss loneliness and I'm really interested in the topic of loneliness because loneliness is quite a harrowing emotion and one that you know everyone at some point has felt and I feel really sorry for the people that feel it quite regularly because it's a horrible horrible feeling and so I, I, you know, thought that she was going to talk about stuff like that and it wasn't that at all. Um, I kind of wish almost that I didn't know anything about this girl before I read it because then I wouldn't feel as bad about how I feel about it. But she basically is a, a Harvard graduate and she died a couple of days after her graduation. And a few of these have been published um, in like competition pieces. Um, but others are kind of just drafts, I think, of what she's written. Um, the first one, The Opposite of Loneliness, which went viral um, and that everyone seems to love, is basically kind of like, almost like conversationally discussing how it feels at university when everyone's around and how she's so young and she's got all her life ahead of her, which is obviously ironic because she died a couple of days after um, she graduated. And... <sighs> I mean, for me personally, like, I am not 21 anymore, like, it's 10 years ago since I was 21, and that feeling of being at university, it's quite superficial when you reflect back on it after years afterwards, like, I'm not really in touch with anybody that I made friends with at university, but yet I made such good friendships while at university that it's kind of, I mean, you spend so much time with people and you get to know them so well, you feel like you've known them forever or whatever. And then you leave university and you gradually lose touch because geographically you're all over the country and the friendships that you had were of convenience and not actually because you connected on a deep level, but because you're all in the same boat, you're all university students, you all had something to connect you. But what you realise when you get older is that you lose touch with people if you're not in frequent contact with them and if you don't have something that kind of ties you together with them um, and that's not because you know there's anything wrong with those people like I still have very fond memories of people from university and they come up in my face with memories and I had loads of friends at university and yet I think there's only a couple of them that are still on my Facebook and because you have calls don't you and you've not like spoken to people for ages and you freak out that you've been spied on or whatever maybe that's just me um so you know there's only a couple of people on there and I'm probably never ever going to see them again in my life but if I would see them again I'd be happy to because they were, they were great lovely people um but you kind of just don't carry on life like around them and I guess in America it's even worse because America is so massive you probably would never see them again so I think listening to not listening sorry reading what she's written I kind of feel a bit like she's very naive and she's so privileged as well that she just doesn't even realize that she's got such first world problems really that you know that that's all she's bothered about um and I think because she's been so like revered by people and she's so talented and whatever I was expecting a lot more from this book than, than what was delivered and I get that she couldn't revise them so she couldn't kind of deal with the fact that the characters are very you know repetitive and you no know, character names she likes similar names for characters and a lot of the themes are quite similar it's all very kind of like impending doom that she's writing about which is almost like as she as she prophesies that she's gonna die like um i mean when i went to book club um there was quite a few people that liked it and i mean i kind of did question and i was like is this because of the expectation of it or is it do you actually believe it but um a comment was made that her characters were very good and I, th and I think actually that's a good point they are because within a couple of pages you get to know who the characters are um quite quickly but in terms of the uh, plots they're very kind of you spend a bit of time with the characters and nothing much happens there's not much substance there's not any kind of philosophical takeaway message there's no kind of like you not learn anything from reading it like uh, you know there was a good a good non-fiction one which was published which was about how we have empathy for beach whales, but we don't have empathy for people who are homeless. That is in the exact, you know, same situation, really. Um, 
and that was a really good kind of point but it was delivered in such a hollow way like at no point did I viscerally, vis viscerally respond to anything in this book like at no point did I think wow that's hard hitting or wow that's really kind of got me it was just very kind of two-dimensional very kind of you know when someone's trying really hard to write the right way that they lose all the nuance and perfection that makes it emotional and makes it you know resonate with you it was missing because she thinks she's trying to write in the way that she's been taught to write rather than writing her truth and you know like when you learn to be a photographer they teach all the photography rules like photography rules like the rule of thirds and you know the way they are in the picture composition or whatever and then by breaking those rules you become a great photographer and i think she's not learned how to break the rules yet I think she's trying to be perfect in how she writes and because of that it's, it's missing that essence is missing um i mean she did have some good stories like um, emerald city was one that i enjoyed which was like an email exchange or more a one-sided email um and it was at that point that i thought oh actually she can write you know and i think with more experience that she would be a lot better but i couldn't help comparing her to i'd read the water cure by sophie mcintosh and i'd read conversations with friends by sally rooney and those two are very good writers and not because they're trying to write well but because the the way that they're delivering the message is affecting me and how I respond to it whereas I didn't respond to this at all in any way um and you know some of the things she tried like there's a chapter about a woman who takes her clothes off while she's reading to a blind man which was very reminiscent of Ian McEwan's Beneath the Sheets short story collection where he you know he talks about like a having sex with a gorilla which is like shocking and when you're reading it you're disgusted and like oh my god like this is weird and I feel like she's been influenced by him but she doesn't deliver in the same way that he does um and so you know if you re read like his books like on Chesil Beach and stuff like they're weird but they affect you whereas this is kind of weird but it's not affecting you um so i think you know she she's almost like you know everyone wants to be a writer and everyone tries to be a writer but they don't really have anything to deliver a message on and i think that's what she's missing there's nothing you know when you read a good book you are left with something at the end that's changed you in some way either emotionally or intellectually or whatever she doesn't do that I think there was maybe the one where they're on the, I think it's called Challenger Deep and they're on a submarine and somebody, they're in darkness so they've only got like their hearing and you know then this woman tries to escape and she ends up getting, going deaf so she can't, she's literally trapped in her own darkness and it's like that was quite disturbing but still I wasn't emotionally moved by it still and it's like that's quite horrific and it didn't feel horrific and I think that's what she's missing um, and so for that reason I wouldn't recommend it but having said that some people did like it so maybe it just depends on what you're looking for in a book but it didn't move me at all in any way and so for that reason I don't think it's that good.